Hey everyone, this is Tass and welcome to Cooking with Tass. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make eggplant chicken rice in the instant pot. So it's a dump and go recipe and all we have to do is dump all the ingredients into the stainless steel pot and pressure cook for 6 minutes. Along with chicken and white basmati rice, I'll be also adding eggplant. So after 6 minutes of pressure cooking, eggplant will turn mushy but it will give a nice texture and taste to this rice dish. So let's get started and let's make eggplant chicken rice in the instant pot. I have taken two boneless chicken breasts. You can also use chicken thighs. So next I'm going to add some Indian spices and season the chicken. So going to add one teaspoon chili powder. So this is regular chili powder. It's hot. Half teaspoon turmeric powder. Two teaspoon coriander powder. half teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon garam masala, and one teaspoon salt. So these are the spices. So combine everything well to the chicken. Into the stainless steel pot, let's dump all the ingredients. So adding one large onion chopped half tablespoon grated garlic or you can add chopped garlic half tablespoon grated ginger or chopped ginger two tomatoes chopped next let's add eggplant i have taken american eggplant variety four cups diced or medium sized eggplant Let's add the seasoned chicken. Give everything a good mix. Adding 2 cups white basmati rice. So for this recipe, we have to add white basmati rice. Brown basmati rice would not work. It will require more cooking time. So I've just rinsed the rice under running water. We don't have to soak the rice in water. Next, adding quarter cup chopped cilantro, five to six fresh mint leaves chopped. So this is optional. If you don't like mint leaves, you can skip it. Let's also add one teaspoon salt, finally adding one and three quarter cups water. So some liquid will ooze out of the chicken, eggplant, onions and tomatoes. So that's the reason I've only added 1 and 3 quarter cups water for 2 cups white basmati rice. So give everything a good mix and try to immerse the rice in water. I'm also going to add 1 dried bay leaf. So this is optional. If you don't have dried bay leaf, you can skip it. So let's close the pot with the lid. So going to select pressure cook setting. Let's set the time to 6 minutes. And the pressure should be high. Clicking start using instant pot ultra model. In the meantime, I'm going to make raita. I have all the ingredients ready here. So into a bowl, adding quarter cup chopped yellow or red onion, quarter cup chopped fresh tomatoes, so this time, I'm also going to add quarter cup chopped crispy lettuce. So this is the inside part of lettuce. It's very crispy. Two tablespoon chopped cilantro and one tablespoon chopped fresh mint leaves. So next going to add yogurt around three tablespoon. Give everything a good mix. So I really enjoyed the addition of crispy lettuce. So after we combine it with yogurt, it wouldn't turn soggy. So when we have this raita, we'll feel that crispiness. It was so refreshing. 
You can also add shredded carrots, cucumber, some people even add grated beetroot. So there are many variations you can try. I did add some salt, I missed that clip. So finally, I'm going to sprinkle some paprika on top. So this is for beautiful presentation. It looks very colorful. Um, you know, if you don't want to add paprika, you can skip it. So our raita is ready here. So six minutes pressure cooking has completed. So let's do a quick pressure release. After the pressure has released completely, let's open the lid. So here's our delicious eggplant chicken rice. The rice has cooked to perfection, chicken has cooked well. The eggplant will turn mushy after six minutes of pressure cooking, but I really love that texture and the taste of this dish. So if you find some moisture, what you can do is take the stainless steel pot out of the main pot and keep it covered for a few minutes. So the moisture will dry off and the rice will set well. It's time to serve. Let's serve the eggplant chicken rice into a large bowl and let's enjoy this with lettuce raita. Here's the perfectly cooked and delicious eggplant chicken rice that's cooked in the instant pot and this will make a perfect one pot meal and we can serve this along with a raita. So raita is basically fresh vegetables mixed with yogurt. Now if you don't want to add eggplant you can totally skip it. You can also add uh, potatoes if you would like. So do give this recipe a try and let me know your feedback. If you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be back with with more easy instant pot cooking videos. Until then, happy cooking, take care and bye!